What would be a funny thing to say to a surgeon before anesthesia kicks in 5 seconds later? Hi reddit guys. Subscribe now. Just to support me. I had broken my wrist and was being put under to have 4 pins inserted. They gave me my anesthesia through a knife. I felt coldness spreading up my arm and across my chest. The nurse asked how I was doing and I said this must be what dying feels like. I heard her say oh. My. God. Then I was out. So did you die? Yes. My condolences. Ro. I actually have a relevant story that happened recently. As I was getting ready to go under they were placing a device in my mouth to keep me from biting down on the scope they were going to use for the endoscopy. Think medical ball gag. Bit a hard plastic ring. Instead of a ball. As the gal was placing it and I asked. Wait. What's the safe word? I heard a good amount of laughing as the world turned to black. Um. How do you keep a surgeon in suspense? I had just woken up after having my shoulder worked on. I was in and out of consciousness for a bit and just generally freaking whacked out. I guess I shifted in the bed and moved the blankets a bit and exposed myself as the nurse came in. She smiled and moved the blankets back. I apparently told the nurse you saw mine. Do I get to see yours? My wife was in the chair next to the bed. I remember thinking the nurse was smoking hot. I woke up and she told me she was flatted. I have no idea what I said. Before going under for wisdom teeth the doctor said I might feel funny. They pushed the drugs and asked if I felt any different. My a-hole, and only my a-hole began to itch like crazy, and it was hot, not warm, hot like I just ate peppers with my ass. I told them my a-hole is itching like crazy. The assistant was really bad at holding back a laugh, the doc resisted mightily. But he too succumbed to my newly discovered b-hole emotions. As the anesthesiologist was putting me under, he just said I'd start to feel sleepy soon. I asked him aren't I supposed to be counting back from 100 or something? He replied I don't know, I must have skipped that class. Being an anesthesiologist must be awesome as you can always get the last word in. I was being put under for a wisdom tooth extraction a few years back, and it was the first time I've ever had an anesthesia. They used injection method rather than gas, so they told me to watch the fluids going in so I could gauge when I'd feel sleepy. I had this idea that I would say something like oh no, doc, I've lost my eyesight or something else preposterous. Before I could collect my thoughts I just immediately blurted well she I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I My voice progressively getting lower and passed out. Last time I went under, as I started to fade, I said, you're gonna have to drive. I'm fricked up. Probably came out. You're gonna have a drive. I'm foo I dumb. Method acting. I like it. Just before I blacked out the anesthetist said to me this is the stuff that killed Michael Jackson. Waking from anesthesia one time I heard someone say his blood pressure is a little high then I mumbled that'd be the anesthetist's assistant's fault. They then kinda startled asked quickly why is that becoming slightly more coherent I continued with she's really hot. They all laughed and said he'll be fine and released from theater. Awful lot of white people in here. Me. After being sedated for a colonoscopy. This is even funnier if you're also white. Even funnier if you're the doctor. The reminds me of the last colonoscopy I had. The sedation didn't take and I woke up several times during the procedure yelling in pain and confusion before I conked out for good. When I woke up the doctor tried to talk to me about how I was feeling. But I was so upset and freaked out I hissed at him then refused to speak at all. When I got my wisdom teeth removed. Doctor. Alright so you feeling that sedative yet? Me. Yeah a little bit. I bet I can stay awake though. How long can people usually fight it? Doctor. Not long. Good night. Me. Blackout. I remember laughing when I woke up. Because that was the last thing I remember. I had this exact same conversation. The only difference was I woke up halfway through them taking out my wisdom teeth. My mother could hear my yelling from the waiting room. 
The doctor was. A. A little surprised. Same here for my wisdom teeth. Woke up. Saw blood all over the surgeon's hands. Heard a crunch. They had to shatter a tooth. Thought to myself. Well frick that. And went right back to sleep. If something goes wrong and I go into a coma. Don't you dare fricking cut my coma beard. Yes ma'am. My surgeon told me to think of a happy place. Then he asked me where it was. The Simpsons kicked in, and I told him it was the happiest place on earth. Tijuana. I didn't stay awake long enough to see if he got the reference. Tahiti. It's a magical place. If I don't make it through this, tell my wife I want her to be buried alive with me. If I don't make it through this, tell my wife I said. Hello. All I know is my gut says maybe. They had a thing checking my heart and it fell off and it flatlined. I told them god damn it you killed me. Quick we're losing me. I tend to get massive erections while under anesthesia, but it's fine. Just tape it down if it gets in the way. Apparently that's actually a thing. The blood flow is actually usually stopped by a muscle, and when that muscle relaxes the blood flow increases and causes boner. So the anesthetic relaxes this muscle. This also explains the random boners you get in algebra in high school while you were bored. I was more of a history boner type of a guy. Yo lem know if you see my phone in there. I am getting my a hole operated on at the end of the year. Save. Yo. If you find a pair of plastic horses in there, don't worry. The situation is stable. As they were pushing the drugs they asked me to count backwards from 10. All I could say was, no. The room erupted in laughter and I was out. Freaking make me, doc. When I had my wisdom teeth removed and was given general anesthetic, I apparently said if this is what being on drugs is like, sign me up. He went and told on me to my mother. The general anesthetic I was on for mine made me absolutely loopy. My girlfriend walked me to the pharmacy, told me to sit down and not go anywhere. I said where would I go? Like it was the dumbest thing anyone had ever told me to do. The moment she turned to go get my prescriptions filled I got up and wandered off. I still don't know where I was trying to go. I actually did the same thing before both of mine. I managed to get out. I'll see you in the future doc. Or something. Either way once the drugs kicked in I didn't care. I asked for a tummy tuck while being wheeled in for a bowel resection. I said while you're cutting it open, just cut some off. Then when I was done my surgery, but still pretty messed up on drugs, I asked if I was skinny and then cried when my doctor told me he didn't give me a tummy tuck. Same doctor. Different procedure. Terribly inappropriate joke. Had to have a colonoscopy. So they gave me some medication where I was awake. But like. It was weird. Anyways. I was feeling silly and told him first time doing anal on camera. And I'm not even getting paid. Right before I went under to have surgery on my septum. I was about to start counting backwards before they put the mask on. Does anyone need anything while I'm out? The last thing I remember was an all room full of people hysterically laughing. I'm gonna need to get surgery so I can use this. For the record, my wife does not like it in the butt. Because I said this before my surgery. My wife is a nurse who works at the hospital I was in. I don't remember saying this, but her co-workers remember it. To the surgeon and nurse. I just want you both to know good luck. We're all counting on you. Patient. Knock knock. Medical staff. Who's there? Patient. Nobody. Medical staff. Nobody who? Classic exit. That'd be a great time to try the reverse knock knock. You. Wanna hear a knock knock joke? Them. Ovs. You. Okay. You start though. Them. Knock knock. You. Out cold. My twin owes me big time for this one. Surgeon. Mine too. Anesthesiologist. Mine too. I was being wheeled into emergency abdominal surgery once and my girlfriend was with me. 
We're rolling down the hall and they have the mask out to put me under and I pause and say to her don't let them touch my dong. The nurse smirked a little and they put the mask on me. In somewhat of a panicked fashion, I pulled the mask off, stared up at my girlfriend, and with full weight and seriousness told her they can look at it, but no touching. I heard the doctor laughing as the gas kicked in. There is another sky walker. Who's the guy with the scythe standing in the corner? That's the other surgeon. He's sitting in. Don't worry, this'll be painless. With this anesthesia, of course. You can fondle me while I'm out if you want. They already do that. It's called a catheter, and if they don't do it, you piss yourself during surgery. I would prefer pissing myself than having a tube pushed up my wiener. You have to look the surgeon squarely in the eyes, and with a straight face, whisper, I want you inside me. That's how you wake up with a prolapsed anus. That's how you woke up with a prolapsed anus. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, just to support me.